delta H F and delta H C calculations. All right then, so using the data, see if you can find delta H for the equation. So what we're gonna do is you marry products minus reactants. That's how you work these out then. So the sum of the change of energy formation of the products minus the sum of the change of energy formation of the reactants. So put those numbers in just underneath. Don't forget to quadruple that one and pentuple that one because you've got four and five respectively in the coefficients. And this is where you put your hand up in the middle of the exam and go, Mr. Formula, you made a mistake. You didn't give me delta HF for oxygen. It's not a mistake. I wish I had a penny for every time I said that. It's not a mistake. Let's write out the heat of formation for oxygen. Making one mole of oxygen gas from its elements in a standard state, nothing's changed. It's, nothing's changed, so it's zero. We don't put zero in the book. All right then, so the products minus reactants. Keep an eye on the signs, a couple of minuses there. And so hopefully delta H comes out at negative 2875. It should be negative, shouldn't it? Because I'm combusting it, I'm burning. There's that idiot again. All right, the second and last question. Calculate the heat of formation for ethanol using the following data. Now, even I'd have to sit and have a little think about this. I'm not gonna use state symbols because there's no, there's no room on this uh, active ball to put those in, really. Well, let's start by writing out the equation for the heat of formation of ethanol. So making one mole of ethanol from the elements in a standard state. So just one mole of ethanol there. Now you'd have to put the state symbols in, but I'm not gonna, because I'm gonna run out of space. And that's the heat of formation of ethanol, delta HF. We don't know what that is. So let me write out the other three equations. The heat of formation of carbon dioxide, making one mole of carbon dioxide from its elements in its standard state. Now I know carbon, is it diamond, is it graphite? C's okay, I checked the textbook, C's okay for this. Next one, uh, the heat of combustion of hydrogen, so that's burning one mole of the substance. That's the energy change associated with that. Completely burning, if you will. Or combusting in oxygen, that's another alternative. And finally, the heat of combustion of ethanol. So burning one mole of ethanol completely in oxygen. People often balance this one wrong because there's an oxygen in the ethanol they forget about. But not me. It's my job. So maybe you've worked out now the approach to this. It's a Hess's Law thing, isn't it? Yeah. Remember Hess's Law? You double it, you flip it, you triple it, la la la. Hess's Law. Hess's Law. Hess's law. Hez, I, don't, I must have missed that lesson at school. I don't know where the apostrophe goes. Is it ES? If it's, you can't have three S's. Can you have three S's? Uh, apostrophe, you can tell me. Yeah. Thanks. You know what? I'm going to be smart about it. The law of Hess. <laughs> if you do an HL, there's a whole bunch of ways of measuring delta H. Seven, I think, in total. And this is one of them. All righty. So you double that one, you triple that one, and you flip that one, and it's all gonna work out to the top equation. So why don't you work it out? Bet you didn't. Lazy.